Hey everyone, what's up there? Mike Sieber, Holistic Health Practitioner, Strength Coach here. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about pressing motions and different varieties of pushing movements, why they're important, how to do them. So a lot of people do generic stuff. They do machine presses, they do barbell bench presses a lot. And what, what often happens when we press improperly without good upright posture, good spinal mechanics, and, and a balanced program is we end up with shoulder impingements, a lot of shoulder issues. People who do too much barbell bench press and push-ups, exercises like that, often end up with this hunched forward, uh, kyphotic uh, forward head posture. And this is really detrimental to the shoulder. And as you can see, my whole spine is rounded. So there's a couple basic rules when we're doing pressing exercises. And that is, one, always train the back and, and learn proper core, breathing, and posture mechanics. So you always want to be pressing from a nice upright posture, um, a nice good posture. Even if I'm on a bench, I don't want the bench to push my shoulders like this. So one of my favorite presses is the Swiss ball dumbbell chest press um, for a few reasons. One, it activates the entire core and glutes, uh, the stabilizers, it supports the spine, very neutral, and it's a great way for beginners and advanced athletes to move some good weight and practice their breathing. So let me show you the Swiss ball chest press variety. So you grab your dumbbells and you want to carefully, you know, carefully keep your, your, the weights close to your body, bring them right to your armpits as you roll down the ball. You want your head and neck nice and neutral, like so. Then I'm going to take a big breath in, good posture. Exhale up. Inhale down, controlled. <sighs> Exhale up. I like to do a nice slow tempo with clients. I go one, two, pause for one, one, two. And this really teaches people how to stabilize on the ball, keep those glutes high. Inhale. <sighs> and exhale. <sighs> and this really supports the spine. Now make sure your shoulders aren't like this or you're rolling down. This is not a good position to press from. We want nice shoulders down and back, chest open, rib cage open. <sighs> to progress this exercise, we can do one arm at a time. <sighs> and now we're getting a little bit of lateral core stability. And we can even just put one weight down and just do a one arm press. And this is much more advanced on the core. So this is another way to mix it up with pressing. So if I want to stick with the Swiss ball, which is a great tool for posture during the presses, right? Because we always want to press from a nice upright posture, thoracic st uh, spine tall, head and neck in place. The Swiss ball press is really good too. Nice good posture, sit upright tall on the ball. Bring the weights here, big breath in. Press, let it out. Again, we can alternate. To make it a little harder, again, the counterbalanced weight, or the unbalanced rate, weight rather, bring the weight up, and we get a little bounce. You can even raise one leg, get a little funky with it. So these are all great pressing varieties. I love the ball because it's really easy to feel if you're falling into this rounded forward head posture, which is not where we want to press from. Doing a lot of presses in this position leads to a lot of shoulder injuries and surgeries. So keep your posture nice and upright. And remember to focus on the breath. Breathing during pressing is very important. So if I'm doing a, a horizontal press, exhale, just like I'm throwing, exhale as you press. Some other presses we can do are with the cable. Cable's another great way to mix in presses. And one of my favorite cable presses is stepping forward into a lunge position Squeezing the glutes in the core, and then same thing, inhale back, control it, exhale. About 70% of my weight should be on the front foot, and when I come back, I don't want to let it stretch me all the way, especially when I'm using heavier weights. Keep a little bit of tension across the chest. Again, you can do one side at a time. And this is a really good press because as you can see, this position is very athletic. Much more crossover than just a bench press onto you know, the football field where if you have to push 
you know, pushing a defender or wrestling, if you have to grapple with the person, this press incorporates the whole body and the legs. Now a more advanced version of that would be doing a single arm press. Same movement, except now we're gonna, we're gonna take the opposite arm and pull it as we punch the arm with the cable in it. Now this is even more rotation, great for runners, pitchers, anyone throwing, right? Because it's mimicking throwing mechanics. Then to progress that further, we can do a single arm, single leg cable press, which looks like So this is a very advanced version. You would only want to do the single arm, single leg press. I got backwards there, but you can only want to do the single arm, single leg chest press once you've advanced through all the other variations. Again, if I'm doing a chest press here and I'm, my, my postures, my shoulders are rolling forward and I'm pushing, I'm getting a lot of bicep, a lot of shoulder, this is likely to lead to a shoulder injury. And see how my rotation is limited? But when I make my posture nice and upright, it's nice and smooth. So if you're not currently doing a variety of these presses, remember you're much more likely to have a shoulder injury just sticking with a standard barbell chest press. Again, that's why I love the dumbbells and the Swiss ball because the weights can move a little more freely. Your nervous system can adjust to the weights. So, Really important to get variety. You want to be pressing overhead. You want to be pressing horizontally. You want to be doing push-ups. You want to be doing some bench press, but not overdoing it. Another cool tip is with the cables is we can change the angle that we're pressing from. We can put the cable machine down low, and now instead of the force being directly horizontal, I have to push up. So the cable is really cool because I can change this any angle. So you can see this is a totally different press now. And as with my training as a check practitioner, we learned that if you change the angle on the cable 15 degrees or more, it's a completely different exercise for your brain and nervous system. So that's why I'm trying to drill in for you guys. You need variety when it comes to your pressing motions and movements. Variety is key. If you stick with the same exercises, um, over and over, month after month, year after year, you're going to end up with a shoulder injury. And most people go to the gym and just do machines that locks them in a fixed range of motion. They don't breathe, they don't focus on their posture. So these are some different ways to incorporate a variety of presses. So rewatch the video, look at these different varieties, see what you can build safely into your routine. If you're doing more advanced things like the cable, you know, again, if you're doing these more single arm, single leg presses, start with a light weight. You're not gonna be able to do this with the same weight you bench press, obviously, because it's integrating the whole body, breathing mechanics. So I can't stress this enough. When it comes to your pressing, you wanna think horizontal, vertical, everything in between, all these different angles, and do presses that integrate the body. And if you do this, you'll be much more likely to have a healthier spine, prevent a shoulder injury, and just be a more functional, strong athlete. So thanks for watching this video on pressing. I'm Mike Sieber and I'll talk to you soon.